Hello everybody and good morning. This is Mary Shores coming to you live from my office and I have been, it's just going to take a couple minutes for my team to get this video shared in all of the groups that we're going to go live in this morning. So in the meantime, I just want to introduce myself and tell you what I'm going to do this video about. So I have been um, recently published with Hay House and it's been such an amazing journey and my book was launched on August 22nd and since that time I have a lot of people who also are telling me that they want to learn how to publish books so because of that I um, I it's my favorite thing to do is to share how I did this and how you can do it too because what I did um, it took work it took discipline but it was doable it's a completely realistic goal for any of you to have and so I wanted to come on live today share my journey exactly how I manifested this book deal with Hay House who by the way was my dream publisher and um, also say how you can do it too and let you know what it takes and in the meantime I'll be asking I'll be answering any questions that come up during this live feed I actually have my assistant Soraya in here with me she's gonna help me uh, make sure that I answer the questions and also give me some questions to start off with so what's on your mind Soraya so how long have you wanted to be a writer it was in my heart to write a book for about 10 years before I even got started on it. As a matter of fact, I used to always say that um, I want to write a book, but I'm not a writer. And so I really had to get over this internal self-talk because the words I'm not a writer were like a mirror to my subconscious beliefs. And I had to rewrite those beliefs in order to, in order to be able to overcome that and actually write the book. And so one of the first steps of that was really beginning to attend writer's workshops. And that ultimately led to my book deal. The reason I'm doing this, um, the reason I'm doing this live is because I posted in one of the Abraham groups this morning and um, just I think I said that my book was about to go as an Amazon bestseller and I immediately got a message from a young lady who started asking me like, hey, how did you do that? Because she wants to do it too. And that really prompted me to want to come and, and do this little live session this morning. So she sent me this really interesting message, which was, here's my plan of how to publish. Number one, write a book. Number two, hire an editor. And number three, find a publisher. And I thought it was so amazing the discipline that she was showing. However, the steps weren't exactly the ones that were going to be produce the goal that she's looking for. So the first thing is, I want you all to know that if you wanna publish a book, the first thing you have to do is write a proposal. Now I've got my proposal right here and I wanna let everyone know that at the end of the video, I am gonna be giving, a, giving you a special offer if anyone wants to see what an award-winning um, proposal looks like. So this is 51 pages. It took about seven months to write it and turn it into Hay House. And then um, within a month, I actually had a book contract with Hay House. So I want to talk about the proposal. That is such an important step. I also want to talk about, because um, a lot of people think that you write a book and then you get a publisher. No, you write a proposal and then you send the proposal to the publishers because the publishers, they don't have time. They don't have, they don't have the staff to read your whole 200 page or 300 page or 150 page manuscript because why? Because they're book publishers. But if you send them a 50 page proposal, now they have a department who actually reads these proposals. This is very important with every publisher and especially with Hay House. Um, secondly, I want to talk about the the um, what you need to do while you're writing your proposal is to get an agent. Now, here's where my special offer comes in and here's where I took a shortcut. Um, I did not get an agent and the way that I was able to publish directly with Hay House and just to show you, um, here is my book. It's called Conscious Communications. You can see it is a Hay House book and I am sharing this this video in the Hay House World Summit page because I love the Hay House World Summit. 
it's it's a beautiful book it's very nicely formatted and hay house did a wonderful job with it and um like i said it's already just about to hit amazon bestseller if i can sell about i don't know 20 books today it'll actually hit it so it's amazing okay so what did i do i went to the hay house writers workshop in chicago illinois in in march of 2015 and Everyone who attends that workshop will get an opportunity to turn a proposal in. So remember, I showed you the proposal. You'll get an opportunity to sh turn your proposal in and one attendee is going to be chosen to publish a book with Hay House. Guys, it is literally like I won the American Idol of publishing and I kid you not, this has been a life changer. There's nothing that has changed my life more than publishing this book with Hay House. So I'm completely, completely thrilled. Again, if you have any questions, just go ahead and put them in the comments because I will answer questions as they come up. And I know the, the gal that I was doing this live for, she has some questions, so I'd love to see those um, come up in the, in the comments. All right, so I went to the workshop. The workshop is amazing because the workshop tells you how to publish. It tells you how to write a proposal. They give you a sample proposal. They talk about how to build your platform. They talk about expectations that the publishers have. They tell you everything you've ever wanted to know about the book business. Before I went to that workshop, I didn't know anything about the book business. I left there knowing that I was going to write my book. I was going to I was going to create my book and it didn't matter to me anymore if I won that contest because whether I won or whether I didn't win, I still won because at the end of the process, I had a proposal. Now the next Hay House Writers Workshop is in Orlando on October 21st and 22nd. I am speaking at that workshop along with guess who? Mike Dooley, the man from Tut notes from the universe we all get his emails he has like a million people on his email list uh, hopefully we've all read his books they're amazing and he actually endorsed my book which i'm super super proud of but if you want to publish if you want to make that book happen that you have inside of you get to this workshop october 21st and 22nd at the omni hotel in orlando florida i am going to post the link in the comments below as a matter of fact um Roxanne, if you're watching, you could probably just post that link for me. How would you advise to write a compelling proposal and who do you address it to? All right, let's talk about the actual parts of the proposal right now because um, this is incredible. And so also I will be making a special offer at the end of this video for anyone who wants to get a copy of my proposal. So a proposal is a very specific document. It could be about 50 to 60 pages long. And um, I'm just gonna go over the sections of it for you. So the first thing you have is an overview. An overview is just basically a summary of the entire book. So mine starts off with, as of 2015, the conference board and New York-based nonprofit research group reported that 52.3% of Americans are unhappy or dissatisfied at work. Not surprisingly, given all these unhappy people, 41% of US marriages end in divorce. An estimated 16 million adults, almost 7% of the population, experienced depression in 2014. And nearly every statistic shows that number steadily climbing. So that's the first paragraph of my overview. Um, what do all these issues have in common? They can all be traced back to the words we choose in our everyday conversations. So the overview, let's see how many pages this is. The overview is about two and a quarter pages. And um, it's very important that you write a killer overview. So when you attend the workshop, they're gonna talk to you about how to do this. And when you get my special offer at the end, I will actually send you a copy of this proposal. But I am gonna be limiting that to um, probably the first 20 people who take me up on the author. Next, you have an about the author section. The about the author section is one page, okay? You can see my, you can see my pretty picture there. And this is four paragraphs, four paragraphs that describes who I am. It's just like any other about you page on your website or on your blog, but you wanna talk about who you are in the about you section. All right, next, and here's where it gets tough, guys. The market analysis. Hold on, I saw a question that I missed. 
I have a draft about 10 chapters already. Sarai, can you read me that question? Yeah. Um, I have no idea what to do in order to publish my book. Do you get paid by Hay House when you get a book contract? Okay, and who answered? Who asked that question? That was from Emily Clausen. Hi, Emily. It's so nice to meet you. My name is Mary. I hope that you're still on so I can um, answer your question. So, yes, um, I got a $10,000 advance, which was $5,000 on at the time that I signed the contract, and another $5,000 when I actually turned the first draft of the manuscript in. So I did get paid, but it was not a lot. It's not, you know, it's not a lot of money. And to specifically speak about advances, the way that they work, so you get paid a $10,000 advance, but then when your book sales start to come in, you're not gonna receive any royalties until they've made that $10,000 back. So whether, and by the way, $10,000 is pretty standard in the industry, for a first time author. So if you're like a best selling author, then maybe you'll get a $100,000 advance, but for a first time author, you're really going to get about you're really going to get about $10,000 advance money and that's really an honor. I really appreciated getting that. Honestly, they could have given me zero advance. I still would have signed on that dotted line to have um, to have Hay House associated with my name. Um, okay, is there another question? Um, from Jana Dugo, does Hay House publish children's books? Hi, Jana, they do. And actually, um, there's a huge value in children's books. And um, part of the reason for that is because children's books are actually the largest department now in bookstores. If you notice that, um, hi, Jana, people, like especially grandparents love to take their grandchildren and go to the bookstore and read those books. They, if you, the, the, the children's section of Barnes and Noble looks like a toy store in my town. Why is that? And I think if my friend Andy Wilsey is still on here cause she loves her grandchildren, grandparents love to spend time with their grandkids. They love to take them to the bookstore and it's not the same as like a Kindle or an audio book. So yes, Hay House definitely put publishes um, children's books and if you go to their website you can find a list of them. Was there another question because if not I'm gonna move on with the proposal. Yep, you can go ahead with the proposal. Okay. Thank you Emily. I appreciate you too sweetie. All right I'm gonna keep talking because um, this is good information. We've got more people joining us. Again my name is Mary Shores. I'm a very recent Hay House author and I am here today to discuss how you can get a book contract with any publisher or specifically with Hay House. So the market analysis is extremely important because listen guys, publishers need to make money and they need you to show them why your book is gonna make money. For the person who said before they have 10 chapters of their book, that's great, but what they wanna know is who's gonna buy this book and what is the value to them of this book. So the market analysis is, for me, it's a page and a half. Here's the first page, here's the second page. So it's a page and a half. And it's really going to talk about who is your audience? Who are the people who are going to read this book? All right, so that's extremely important. I also want to say with the Hay House contest that um, I was the first prize winner. So like I said, I won the American Idol of Publishing, guys. Come on, it doesn't get any better than that. But guess what? There is a second prize and a third prize as well. And the second prize and the third prize are self-publishing packages with the self-publishing company that Hay House owns, which is called Balboa Press. So that was the reason why when I left that, that conference that day, I knew I was gonna make my book happen because whether I published um, through Hay House and got my opportunity or whether I self-published, I knew that I was gonna make that happen and it's just so important to say that. All right, the next section of your book proposal is the promotion section. So the promotion section is basically your marketing plan. What is your marketing plan to make this book um, sell? Because publishers do not sell books for you guys. Uh, this is very important to understand. Publishers are publishers. They edit, they do the book packaging, they will be there with you every step of the way but not the marketing piece. Unless you're Tony Robbins, unless you're Mastin Kip, unless you're Gabby Bernstein or Deepak Chopra, guess what? Uh-uh, you have to, why should they invest in you if you're not gonna invest in yourself? That's the thing that I think is really important to understand. All right, so the promotion section is, um, yes, um, Jana, there is going to, 
We just put, put the link up one more time, Jana, so that you can grab that. So the promotion section talks about what you plan on doing to get your book out. Do you plan on running a social media campaign? Do you have followers? Do you, um, do you have a Facebook group that you run? Are you a public speaker? Are you a teacher? You know, wh how do you plan on reaching your audience? So the promotion section is about two and a half pages of the total proposal. And, um, Again, I'll be sharing what mine looked like if, if you take advantage of my special offer at the end. So the next thing is the competitive analysis. The competitive analysis is where you take books that are similar to yours that are bestsellers. They need to be recent releases and they need to be doing very well because they, they you wanna show the publisher what kind of audience, again, this shows what kind of audience and um, who's gonna buy the book and how well other books that are similar. Now what's really cool about the comparative analysis of the book section is of the proposal is that you have this opportunity to say what is similar about this book to yours and what is different. So for example, the first one on my list is Girl Boss by Sophia Amoroso, if I pronounce that right, I don't know. All right, so her book was published in May of 2014. Again, I turned my proposal in, in in 2015, so this was a very recent book at the time that I put my proposal in. And we're gonna talk about how my book is similar to Girl Boss, and we're gonna talk about how my book is different um, than Girl Boss. Another comparative book for mine was uh, You Are the Placebo, Making Your Mind Matter by Dr. Joe Dispenza. I am a huge Dr. Joe fan and I've been to his workshops. I've seen him live. I've met him in person. He's a fellow Hay House author. I have tons of admiration for him. So his his book is similar to mine, but very different. Why is it similar? Because we sh both share a love of neurology. And why is it different? Because I don't know much about as neurology as this man does, because he's like a neurological expert. All right. We also have The Slight Edge, Turning Simple Disciplines into Massive Success. So, and Happiness by Jeff Olson, published in 2013. So that was another one. And also Carry On, Carry On, the, Carry On Warrior, The Power of Embracing Your Messy, Beautiful Life by Glennon Doyle Milton. All right, now we get in, that was the hard stuff, guys. Now we get into the easier stuff. The easy stuff is the table of contents. Now, what's really cool about the table of contents is it's easy. You just say, what are the chapters of your book. Now, one thing I want to point out is that if you take advantage of my special offer, what you're going to notice is there's 10 chapters on this, but there's actually only nine chapters in the book. All right, we're almost done, guys. So we only have two more sections left to, to, to uh, go over here. Okay, I think that this next section is very important. It's called the chapter abstracts. Now, I have to tell you, when I first heard that word, chapter abstracts, I was like, that doesn't even make sense. Is it like a painting? Um, they're really chapter summaries. I don't know why they call them abstracts, but they do, but they're really chapter summaries. So the chapter summaries start with a summary of your introduction, which mine is uh, three paragraphs here, and it, there's a little story in here. When I was 22 and my mom asked me to help her sell her business, I didn't know, I didn't know then that I would learn the basics of how to run a collection agency and not long after would open my own agency. At that time, I was the youngest person to ever open a firm at 24 years old. This turn of events redirected my life path and presented me with a whole new set of options on my life menu. That's just something out of my introduction. Jacqueline Dunn asks, will you have an audio version available? Hi, Jacqueline. That is a great question. And I have to tell you, there is nothing I would love more than to make this audio available to um, anybody who wants to buy my book. Why? Because I am an Audible addict. I love Audible so much. I just, I have something like 500 books. I'm like one of their number one people in all their ratings. Okay. So here's the deal. If you want to do Audible, if you, thank you, Emily, I really appreciate that. If you self-publish, then you own the rights to your content. And that means that you can buy a package with Audible. It's super cheap, guys. It only costs like less than $2,000 to record your book on Audible or record your book on audio. But if you go with a traditional publisher, they own the rights. 
They own the words inside of your book. You don't. And what that means is it's up to them. They get to make the decision of whether or not they're going to ask you to do an audible book, an audio book. And how do they make that decision? Based on book sales. Hay House told me I need to sell 25,000 books and then they'll let me record audible. I'm working on it and I'm begging them. And when I when I see Reed Tracy again at the Hay House Writers Workshop in Orlando, I am going to beg, 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 beg him to let me record my book on Audible. But there you go. There's something you can learn is the difference between self-publishing. When you self-publish, you have a lot more control over your content. When you have a traditional publisher, you do not. So like, for example, I have to be very careful about the information that I share in my newsletters, in my blogs, on my social media, because I cannot share more than 10% of the content that's in the book because it's against my contract. All right, so going back to the, um, going back to the chapter abstracts, um, you basically have about five paragraphs you basically have about five paragraphs where you're going to give a short summary of every chapter. So for the gal who said she's already got 10 chapters written, this should be super easy for you. Here's what I want you to know, guys. If you feel like you have a book inside of you and maybe you don't know what that book is, guess what? When I walked in that door of that writer's workshop, I had no idea what my book was gonna be about. When I left the writer's workshop, I thought I was gonna write a business book um, about this customer service training that I've been training on for years and years. The book that I ended up writing, completely different than that. So don't worry about it so much if you don't know exactly what your book is going to be. Because what I found was going through this proposal process, just in general, helped me to organize my thoughts in a different way. A lot of people, if they're a writer, they like to just sit down and start writing. Guys, you know what? That's not the way it happened for me. The way it happened for me was when I was going through the proposal process, which was about seven months, it helped me to organize my thoughts and figure out what this book was going to be. And I'll tell you the truth about halfway through, I, I was writing this business book. I was writing this business proposal and my gut kept telling me, no, that's not the one. That's not the one. I ripped it up and started over. All right. Now I am going back and writing that other one. Um, the working title is the communication code. It'll probably take me two years. That's something you need to know. How long was this whole process from start to finish? So it was March, 2015 when I, when I attended the workshop, it was August, 2017 when the book hit the shelves. So what does that mean? 2.5 years of my life. That is longer than I've been pregnant. So 2.5 years of my life to make this book happen. Very important to know. Seven months of that was the proposal creation and about the next nine months of that was the hardcore writing. Turned in my first draft in June of 2016 and then another year and two months to actually do the book, the editing and the book packaging and get it out onto shelves. Hay House will decide at the very beginning what your book launch date is and you have to have everything done before that time. Now, my last section of the proposal and actually my very favorite section is the sample chapter. Now, the sample chapter is where you turn in, so for that gal who's got 10, 10 chapters written, you pick one of those chapters and you turn that in. It's like a sample of your writing. So my sample chapter is chapter five, to cleanse or to clog, that is the question. And so um, for those of you who are not familiar with my book, the, the, uh, the reason I chose this chapter, chapter five, because you might be thinking, well, why wouldn't you choose chapter one? I chose this because it was it was central for what was going to be in my book and it's really um this chapter is so good it could stand alone like i thought if i could write every chapter as good as this chapter i'm going to have a bestseller so it was it was it was no question to me that i wanted this chapter to be the sample chapter so really cleanser clog is really just about understanding that everything that you do in your life, everything you say, everything, every action you take, every choice you make, every thought you think is either cleansing your life or it's clogging it. And so in the book, we actually created these tables so you can figure out, and by the way, that's true in your diet. That is true in your finances. That is true with your career. Guess what? Everything you say, everything you do, every action you take in your relationship is either cleansing it or clogging it. What I mean by that is you're either creating connection 
in your life or you're driving disconnection. And so Cleanser Clog teaches you how to always be creating deeper connection for those things that are what you want. Because for example, guys, if, and, and you know, I'm sharing this in a lot of Abraham groups, so I'm gonna use language that I know that Abraham followers understand. You know, we all have this vibrational escrow and this vibrational escrow is all of the things that we've ever wanted to create in our entire life. Um, I talked to a psychic like 10 years ago who told me I was going to have a best-selling book and I honestly was like, holy shit, how did he know that? Because at that time I was not even telling anybody that I wanted to write a book because I was too embarrassed to even say those words. But guess what? 10 years later it happened. And I talked to my buddy, Jeff, who's like, he knows everything about the Seth material. He's taken all the classes. He's a big Abraham person. He said to me that he felt like people who are intuitive or people who can channel or people who can um, say that they're psychic, they um, have this ability to see what's in your vibrational escrow. So if you've ever had a psychic reading and they tell you something, but then it doesn't come true, well, maybe my buddy's right. And it's like they can see into your escrow, but you still have to take action to make it happen. And so if everything that's in your vibrational escrow is everything that is possible, and we have these unlimited possibilities in our life, then what are you doing to connect yourself to what's in your escrow? And so the foundation of my book is really about teaching people to take take what, what they want in life because we have these infinite possibilities. So I have the possibility of becoming a best-selling author, but I also have the possibility of never selling one book. So what determines which thing I'm gonna manifest is the choices that I make in life. My favorite quote out of the book is the choices you make will shape your life forever. It's from the movie, A Bronx Tale. So, um, all right, this is going way longer, but it seems like people are watching and engaged, so throw out any questions you have. But that's really like what my sample chapter is about. And it's there's a difference between a possibility in your life and a probability. So how do you turn a possibility into a probability? Well, it's how you make your choices and choosing to always make choices that connect you to your dream and detach yourself, loosen your grip, from the choices that disconnect you from your dream. You have a question? Danielle says hi. Hi, Danielle. Um, Sienna says, asks about the story of how you manifested your book. Okay, that's a great story. So Sienna, um, as I said in the beginning, the way that I manifested this book is by going, attending the Hay House Writers Workshop. I want to invite all of you to join me for the next Hay House Writers Workshop. So Hay House has a workshop uh, in the States about once a year. The next one is October 21st and 22nd. The way that I manifested that was I went to this workshop with an open mind. I knew that I was going to publish my book. I absolutely believed in every cell of my being that I was going to publish a book. Winning the contest no longer mattered to me. What mattered was I needed to get my book out into the world because I, I had to. If you're pregnant with a baby, you have to deliver that baby. It's not gonna stay in you forever. I had to publish this book. It didn't matter to me whether Hay House published it, but they did. And again, I can show, can show all of you, this is my book and there's the Hay House logo right there. I'm very, very proud of that. So, and Sienna, um, I can talk to you more after the video if you wanna know specifically, but how did you manifest it? I took action. I wrote the proposal. I followed the directions from the workshop exactly. Everything they told me to do, I did. Right down to every last detail, and I turned my proposal in on time by the deadline. Johnetta asks, what's your favorite part of being a writer? Johnetta, my favorite part of being a writer is um, when I get these messages from people who are reading my book and they are telling me that um, something in my book is changing them, I, I literally get so choked up and emotional. Um, I've been a public speaker for about 10 years and it's the same thing with public speaking connecting with my audience, connecting with the people who are reading who are reading my material and going on this journey with them and and not acting like I'm some kind of a superstar because I got to tell you like and if you read my book you'll understand this that I've come overcome a lot of obstacles. Uh, my family was torn apart when I was young 
And um, my mother was basically an orphan when she was young, but we've been able to, to, you know, overcome all of these obstacles. And I was out on my own at 16 years old. By the time I was 24, I started a business that over the past 20 years has um, created revenues of over $40 million. And I talk all about how to do those things in the book. You know, my friend told me last night that this book is like the she said it's like a spell book to how to communicate your wishes and desires to the universe and actually make them happen. And I just, I loved that statement. So um, she told me I should use it. Yeah, go ahead. So Emily asks, how does she send in her proposal? Does she have to attend the workshop? Yes, you have to, you have to t attend the workshop. So right now I want to go into my special offer because um, I've been on here a lot longer than I intended to. And I know everybody has busy lives. So here is my special offer. Um, number one, there is a link in the comments a few times. If you need the link, just reach out to us. My team will get the link out to you. Buy a ticket to this workshop. If you buy the ticket prior to September 21st, the um, ticket price is $450. If you buy it after September 21st, it's going to go up, I believe, $100 up to $550. Now, um, the name of my book is Conscious Communications, and we'll also be putting a link to that book in the comments below. But hold on, because I'm going to give you a special offer if you purchase the book. All right. Now, another thing I'm going to suggest to you, the, the workshop is, a, is at Omni Hotel. I'm thinking about creating a Facebook group for people who are going to join me at the workshop so that if you guys are looking for a roommate, like I have a roommate, my friend Nala is actually going, I've got five other friends going to this workshop with me. And I just wanna say that you can maybe find a roommate to help share costs to get this, get to the workshop and you'll be able to turn in a proposal to Hay House. Someone is gonna win that book deal. Someone is gonna win. I don't know if it's gonna be you. Someone is gonna win. And even if you don't win, you will have a proposal and they're gonna teach you how to get an agent. Once you have an agent, you'll have time to write your book as the agent is farming it out to different publishing companies because Hay House isn't the only publishing company in the world. You can also invest in self-publishing. That's a great idea. You know, a lot of best-selling books started off as self-published books. All right, so I want to get to my special offer. If you purchase the book today, um, we are playing a game called the I Spy Mary Shores game. All you have to do is purchase a copy of the book when it comes to you, whether you get it on iBooks, whether you get it on Kindle, or whether you get the paperback version, you take a selfie of the book, you choose a quote out of the book. It can be anything you want. Um, any kind of one-liner or one paragraph out of the book, you post that. You post that on the uh, on your post on social media, and you use the hashtag I Spy Mary Shores. As soon as you do that, make sure you make it public so we can see it. We're gonna send you a copy of my companion course. The companion course is your guide to getting through this book because this book has exercise after exercise after exercise, and you're gonna want that journal to go along with your journey of conscious communications. Emily wants to know um, all of the locations that she can get the book. So the book is available everywhere at Barnes and Noble, Amazon, and I'm gonna go back to that because I wanna say the last piece of my special offer, which is for the, very, for the first 20 people who respond to this offer, I had actually said 10 the other day, but I'm increasing it to 20 because I'm super close to hitting Amazon bestseller and you guys can help me hit this uh, milestone on Amazon. So if you order the book or you buy it at Barnes and Noble and you play the I Spy Mary Shores game and the first 20 people who message me and tell me that they're gonna do that are gonna go on a list, we're gonna send you a sneak peek of my entire proposal. What does that mean is we're gonna send you a copy, a, a partial copy of the proposal um, so that you can use it as a template to create your own proposal. So if you can't go to the workshop, so Jana, this is for you, because I see you're asking, I can't go to the workshop. Um, if you can't, what's the rest of her question, Soraya? She wants to know, since she can't go to the workshop, does that mean she can't publish her book with Hay House? So um, that's a great question, Jana. If you can't go to the workshop, then it does not mean you can't publish your book at Hay House, because the other way for you to be able to publish through Hay House is to, um, 
get an agent and they they tell you at the workshop how to get an agent but I can tell you right now an easy the best way to get an agent is to go through other books that you like so say for example you're a Gabby Bernstein fan then you can look and research who her agent is and send them a pitch letter so maybe I'll do another video with some other details that are outside of the workshop later or maybe you can connect with me but um, for now I want to talk about the workshop and attending it and, and winning that so if you order the book and you play the I Spy Mary Shores game, please send me a PM and I will confirm your details to be able to send you not only your companion guide, but also this sneak peek version of my proposal that did win first prize. I hope that all of you will join me at the Hay House Writers Workshop. Thank you so very much. And uh, we'll be posting the link to the book below. You can also check your local Barnes and Noble store. I do recommend going to their website and post and putting in your zip code because we're finding that it's well stocked in about half the stores across the country. So good luck to everyone. And thank you so much for joining me. I really had fun chatting with you guys. Bye bye. Hey, this is Mary. Thanks so much for watching. Check out a free chapter of my book, Conscious Communications at maryshores.com forward slash free chapter. The link is in the description below.